We're at SEMA 2019 and wow, there are a lot of off-road vehicles, overlanding vehicles, new parts and gears to take a look at. That's what we're gonna do in this video. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and I am at SEMA 2019 for my first time ever, which is really awesome. We've been walking around for the last couple days, and there is so much to see here. Now, we just did a video on all the gladiators that we encountered. I will leave a link down below, go check that out. In this video, we're gonna be looking at all kinds of off-road vehicles, some overlanding vehicles, some cool camping gear, some new products for some of these off-road vehicles. I love some of the new stuff, but I also love some of the classic fabricated builds like the one behind me. I think you're gonna enjoy this tour around SEMA's 2019 off-road episode. The SEMA show in Las Vegas features exhibitors and new products from all over the world. And this is not open to the general public. You actually need to either be a buyer or a vendor or an exhibitor or media in order to get access to SEMA. And while it is the coolest car show I've ever attended, SEMA's primary focus is to bring industry professionals to showcase their products, provide educational seminars, and offer some networking opportunities. I had a blast the whole week I was here soaking it all in. So this is the first time at SEMA that they've done an overland experience exhibit like this. And I really like this because it's kind of bringing in the fact that people like to use their vehicles to go have some cool adventures. And here is a huge display of a variety of vehicles. It's not just Jeeps, it's not just Toyotas. There are all kinds of rigs that you can go out and have some cool adventures in. And it's actually pretty cool for me, a little personal to see this mini built JL here because I spent seven days in Alaska in this thing. It was truly some good overland and some off-roading in this vehicle. All right, let's go see some more stuff. It was nice to see all these adventure rigs in one area, and they did a great job of showcasing a variety of vehicles, from small-sized rigs to large ones to newer ones, older ones. There were several very practical builds with some functional accessories that I appreciated taking a look at. It was a fun section to walk around, and I think most people that haven't been exposed to the overlanding adventure lifestyle, this will be a good taste of it for them. And if they decide to do this overland experience again next year, I hope they consider a place outside because, well, it just didn't feel right with all these rooftop tents and camping gear inside. I really liked the map wrap on this truck and I found it interesting that the tonneau cover opened up from the middle using some type of actuator system. I'm not sure how practical it would be to climb in and out of your tent through your truck bed, but I'm always a fan of new ideas like this. So two things right here on this truck that we came by over the Overland Experience area is this Overland topper lift and it basically what it does is it takes the camper shell of the truck and lifts it up on some actuators and then there is a tent inside turning your entire truck bed into a tent. Now I have not seen a camper shell for a gladiator but I think once folks start making them this is a pretty cool idea. The other thing that's right here with us and this isn't a new thing but it's something that a lot of people don't do and that is this privacy tent where you can you know you can put a toilet back there you can take a shower and this folds out like a little mini awning. I think this is a pretty cool idea. So outside in the parking lot area, there are a lot of these lifted trucks out here. And I really appreciate all the work and energy that goes into these and the styling is really kind of unique. But you know, something that we take for granted is when we put a truss on our axles on our Jeep, it's really just a function and it's not really a design. These guys put a lot of artwork into their axle trusses. In addition to all the show trucks, there were plenty of show Jeeps. And while, yes, you can classify these as the super mall crawlers, and they'll probably never step foot on a trail, there is no question a lot of time and energy and finances have been invested into these Jeeps. I've been a car enthusiast my whole life, and I appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into a build like this. But let's be clear, there were no shortage of Jeeps that were trail ready. SEMA is a show that shows you just what is possible. And yes, these are all over the top. That's the point. Maybe one or two of these rigs has something that you'll take away and decide it's right for your application. 
Now, I love the classics, and seeing some of these old-school off-road vehicles brought back to life using modern technology, styling, and creative touches was something I just could not get enough of. SEMA has lots and lots of classic hot rods on display, and I love all of those, but it was these classic built off-road vehicles where I spent most of my time dreaming about the possibilities. I've said it before in previous videos, one of these days there's going to be another classic vehicle in my garage. I just need to decide what it's going to be. I think my favorite classic off-road build was probably this one here by Jesse James. Not only is this an aggressive, old school, cool looking truck, but the bones underneath it, I would wager, is a ton of fun to go blasting through the desert really fast. A lot of attention to detail in this build for sure. So when I was a kid growing up, I remember watching a Bigfoot monster truck out there tackling stuff in the Coliseums and crushing cars. Now we've got one here that is fully electric. That is crazy to see, and the innovation of electricity, guys, it's on its way. And speaking of large off-road vehicles, there were a couple large expedition-style rigs on display, and a couple that were ready to take you on an adventure up in Alaska during the winter. I really appreciate the engineering that goes into building these snow tracks, especially to support heavy vehicles like this. Honestly, these are kind of like life-size Hot Wheels. I think they're really cool. Oversized overland trucks have been growing in popularity, and I think we are really starting to see the aftermarket companies build newer and newer products for these full-size trucks. There were plenty of large trucks on display, but most of them were kitted out with rooftop tents with the Overlander in mind. This was the first time I've seen a Ford exhibit with a few Overland vehicles on display. And while the Jeep Gladiator was probably the most dominant truck of the event at SEMA 2019, I would bet the Ford Ranger was a close second in the most popular vehicle here at SEMA. There were several that had been built very well, some very practical, some that had some nice styling touches, but this one was hands down my favorite Ranger at the event. This one was on display at the Ford booth and the builders did a great job at making this look cool, but also gearing it up with all the goodies that you need to go have a great adventure. And speaking of Ford, there were several Ford Broncos on display at the show and I love these old classic Fords. But if you're like me, I'm excited for the release of the new Ford Bronco that is coming. There's a lot of buzz about it, but I just hope they do it right and offer some good competition to the Jeep Wrangler. This Bronco here caught everybody's eye at the show because this one was built by Jay Leno. And if you know anything about Jay Leno and cars, he does it right. Under the beautiful hood of this Bronco is the same motor that they're putting in the new Mustang Shelby GT500, a 760 horsepower V8. Oh yeah. There were also a few small sized off-road vehicles that were pretty noteworthy on display. This Baja bug with the rooftop tent built by Hot Wheels was very, very cool. Okay, let's go check out a few new of the products here at SEMA, and then we'll come back and check out some more vehicles. Okay, now, if you've been following the channel recently, you know my axles have been giving me some challenges, and so paying attention to what's here at SEMA has been really important to me, and I really like what Dynatrack has. They've got a new 44 for the front and this really cool XD60 for the rear, which is 100 pounds lighter than your regular 60, and it maintains a five on five lug so you can still use your existing Jeep wheels. This JT, JL, JK, it's a good option. It's something I'm looking very hard at, guys. The new line of Dometic fridges caught my eye, and they've been making some changes based on the feedback from its core users. I've been using Dometic fridges for years, and they've held up really well, but it's nice to see some new designs coming out. They, these ones have a more rugged construction, but what really interests me is this cool new ice tray. How nice would it be to have some ice on a hot day at camp? So taking a look at these rock sliders from Rock Slide Engineering, specifically built for the Jeep Gladiator. These are really nice, they're well constructed, and if your wife is like mine, or you're a little shorter, 
Having something to help you get up in the Jeep when you're lifted and have bigger tires is really nice. And these are built with steel, plus you can add an extra steel slider. These weigh about 85 pounds per side, and they're pretty durable. A nice little product for the Gladiator. Okay, now I want to mention that I was invited to SEMA by my friends at Icon. I've been working with them. They're great folks. But what is really cool is they were awarded the best new off-road product, the Jeep Gladiator Lift Kit for the entire SEMA show. I love my lift kit on my Gladiator and it's great to see them getting recognized for it. Nice job, Icon. Now two of the products that I mentioned briefly in the Gladiator video that I did here at SEMA, one was this American Adventure Labs tent tray that self levels itself out. I really think this is an innovative idea. The other one was the DV8 bumper drawer where you can pull it out and store some stuff right underneath the Jeep. That one is very clever. I think these both were worth mentioning again, just in case you missed that video. Go Fast Campers had one of their pop-up tent campers on display, and I think these things are very well built and very practical. But something new that they have designed is this deck system for the truck bed that has several lids that allow you to access it underneath. Uh, pretty clever. There were many variations of truck bed rack systems on display as well. I'm partial to my Lightner rack, but there were some that had some really nice details to them. But I'm not sure it gets any better than the P-Core bed system for the Gladiator, just like this one here on Codex. Pretty amazing. All right, let's get back to checking out some other rigs. This forward control Jeep build was getting a lot of attention and for a very good reason. That blue color was the perfect choice and they had added all kinds of adventure goodies to this one. I wouldn't mind taking this out on a long weekend. There were a couple old school Toyota FJs that had been nicely restored, even a little bit of a resto mod. Too bad they did not stick with this platform over the years. This was a good Jeep competitor once upon a time. This Jeep here was built by Hawk Designs, and if you follow their builds, you'll know that everything that comes out of their shop is top of the line as far as material and quality and design. This was one of the nicest Wranglers at SEMA. Chevy had a cool looking military vehicle in their booth, and man, this one has probably got some good off-road stories to tell. Just give me the keys, I'd be honored to wheel this thing for a weekend. There were a few high-end armored vehicles scattered about, and while these are very heavy, they are built to support all that weight. If you need a vehicle for Armageddon, one of these rigs is the way to go. Just be ready to break out your checkbook because these things are not cheap. I'm a huge fan of the Jeep Scrambler, and I've had my eyes on several over the years. Who knows, maybe one of these days, this will be the classic rig that ends up in my garage. This one, that bright orange, was pretty nice. Well, we have had an amazing week here at SEMA, checking out so many amazing off-road vehicles, some of the cool products. This last vehicle that we're going to take a look at right behind me is one that I've watched transform over the last 18 months. When we were back in Moab, they were building this, and it's awesome to see it here in SEMA in Vegas, all ready to go. That's the Outcast. It's by the Moab Mega Buggy. Definitely go check them out. I'm looking forward to going for a ride in this thing next time we're in Moab. 54-inch tires. A lot of fabrication on this thing, really cool. Hey, I hope you have enjoyed hanging out with me for while we've been at SEMA. If you missed the Gladiator video, go check that one out. If you're visiting Trail Recon for the first time, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. Thanks for watching.